the new Air CC300H. What's up everybody, Eric here from Tea and Tobacco, and today I'm going to be looking at this temperature controlled humidor. So let's get to it. So if you live in a place like I do, I live in New Hampshire and we have massive temperature swings from zero degrees to 100 degrees, from 0% humidity to 100% humidity. So we have huge swings throughout the year. Uh, luckily my house doesn't get too cold in the winter, but in the summer I definitely have problems keeping my house cool enough to maintain my cigars comfortably. Uh, last year, my office, which I'm in right now, got up to like 93 degrees, which is very not good for my cigars. Uh, so those are all stored currently below here in my Coolador for the most part. But I may have a solution here with the New Air CC300H temperature controlled humidor. Now the H model also has heating. So if you're somewhere where if you want to put this out in your garage and it gets cold at night, then um, this might be the solution for you. So it's definitely going to be the solution for me, I think, especially in the summer with the cooling temperatures. So I'm gonna open this up and take a look at it. All right, so before I get too far into this, I wanna say what I really appreciated was how nicely packed this uh, item was. It wasn't like loosely in there, they got nice big, pieces of foam at all the corners, holding it centered in the box. So that's cool. Uh, I don't see any damage from shipping. So that is wonderful. I'm a big fan of how well they packed uh, this unit in those boxes. So good job there. All right, so before I show you the features of this thing and show you it fully loaded, I do wanna let you know that there is a promo code for my viewers to get 20% off this unit. So if you go into the description, there is a link and a promo code, and that brings the price of this thing down to about $475. And spoiler alert for the rest of the video, I think it's totally worth it. It is a value buy at that price. So go check it out and um, we'll continue on. All right, so before I open this up, I'm gonna talk about it a little bit. This is the New Air CC300H, which means it also has heating capabilities. So the non-H models just have cooling capabilities. So if you're in an office like me, if the coldest it gets in here is 66 degrees, I might only want the cooling capabilities because I don't really need the heating capabilities. But if you say wanna put this out in your garage, you have an outdoor lounge, it gets cool at night, this will be able to raise the temperatures up to whatever you set it at, you know, 70 degrees or whatever you choose. Uh, another thing that's really cool about this is it uses thermoelectric elements instead of a compressor for the cooling. So basically just like the elements in your toaster when you turn it on, they heat up as electricity runs through them and whatnot. The same principle is here that now there's technology that makes it a cooling element and that excess heat from the electrical current and whatnot is brought out to a heat sink in the back here, and then that is just exchanged with the surrounding temperature of the air and whatnot. So there's no you know, compressor or anything on this, so you won't have that noise, you know, that buzzing when it turns on or whatever. So, all right, going into this thing, we have a nice glass front door. This is double paned glass. So just like your exterior windows or whatnot is double paned for the insulation. Um, so it should keep the temperature out here and in there um, optimal for what's supposed to be in there and you won't have as fast of exchange. Uh, the door has a seal just like a refrigerator. It's a nice rubber gasket with a magnet in it. So sucks it right onto the frame of this, uh, this humidor. So that is very cool. So it makes a nice airtight uh, seal. There's also a lock. So there's a lock down here and you can lock this down and keep uh, kids out or just to, just to add a little bit more security for the door not swinging open or anything like that. All right, so getting into this thing, there are nice, Spanish cedar trays. There are four of them that uh, all pull out. And then there are two um, kind of drawers here. And then one of them does come with a, a little dish that you can use for humidification beads or whatever. That's probably, I'm gonna put some gel beads in here probably. So, 
All right, let's get uh, moving on to seasoning this thing. All right, so to season this, just like any other humidor, what you wanna do, you wanna take a piece of uh, clean paper towel, uh, a new sponge, a uh, clean rag, and uh, distilled water. And then you want to basically rub all the surfaces of the Spanish cedar down to get some moisture into them because they are super dry right now and they're gonna suck up a lot of moisture. So let's get through that. All right, so now that I've moistened down all the uh, surfaces, I'm going to fill this with uh, just some distilled water. And I'm also going to move some uh, heartfelt beads in here as well. And I'll see you back in a couple days. All right, so it's been about three days since I seasoned this humidor and uh, it is hanging out at 70, 71% relative humidity and uh, it's hanging at uh, 69, 70 degrees. They're within a degree of each other, so that's good. Um, so what I'm using for humidification right now is I have a random Bovita pack in there, a 69%, but uh, I am using the uh, gel beads in the container that came with this humidor. And then I have a jar of uh, the heartfelt you know, silica beads that are 70% uh, relative humidity. So if you've ever seen any of my older videos, uh, I like to use both the gel and the silica beads. And I really just add water to the gel beads and I la allow like the heartfelt silica beads just to soak up the excess. So they're basically just fighting each other to stay in that equilibrium and uh it's worked out very well for me for the past you know few years in my other humidor and in my cooler door right here and that is the strategy that i go with so overall this humidor is awesome and i'm definitely going to make this my main humidor now and um because it's been keeping stable temperature stable humidity the seal is awesome because you know it's a refrigerator seal with you know the magnet and everything so that is very cool. So overall, I would give this a big thumbs up. Uh, a few things that I would like to see in future releases. Right now, the shelving setup that you have is really the only setup you get. So the only thing you can really do to change it is remove a shelf. And um, what I'd like to see is more slots put into the side of the unit so you can move the shelves, um, you know, smaller increments than, uh, you know, the only default levels that there currently are. So it'd be nice to be able to do that, uh, you know, just to, just to make some fine adjustments if you'd like to. Um, another thing is the light. There's a little light up at the top, but it's tiny. And if you, you know, fill up that top shelf, you block the light to all the shelves below. So what I'd really like to see is like a light, a strip of LED lighting like inside the door so it illuminates the whole thing. So that would be a, a nice improvement. Another improvement I'd like to see would be add a circulation fan or two into this unit that isn't tied to the heating and cooling. So, you know, it can kick on every once in a while, especially down at the bottom where you could get some dead spots or, you know, kind of that the heavier air just kind of stays down at the bottom. So it'd be nice if there was like a small circulation fan or two that would kick on maybe every six hours or something and run for like 15 minutes just to kind of mix up the air and keep the humidity from settling in any one place. Um, but that is really not a huge deal. Uh, and then lastly would be to put a you know, some type of passage in the back of the unit. So if somebody would want to use like a cigar oasis or some sort of electronic uh, humidification device or put their own fans in there, um, they'd be able to run the, the electrical cord through the back or something like that. That'd be great. Um, but I've also seen that given the spacing, you can't fit certain cigar oasis products in this. So that would definitely go back to, uh, you know, being able to customize the shelving spacing and whatnot and not have to pull a shelf just to fit a cigar oasis in. So that's something to, to know too that um, I don't have one, but I've seen other people say you can't fit a, a, you know, a regular cigar oasis unit in this without removing a shelf and putting it up uh, high instead of being able to put it down in the bottom. So 
Uh, that's kind of my biggest takeaways, but they're definitely not deal breakers, like I said. Uh, something that I think would be really cool about a unit like this would be to create one with a non-aromatic wood or like a, um, uh, you know, stainless steel racks or, you know, wire racks or whatever and use it for poor storage because poor is stored at roughly the same specs, you know, 70% humidity, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, uh, though some people like to store it a little warmer at like, you know, 80 degrees, 85 degrees at, you know, 50% relative humidity. But I think this would be a very cool unit for that type of thing. Cause right now there's really nothing on the market for storing poor specifically. Um, so a lot of people have to store in like coolers or an old refrigerator that doesn't actually have the active, um, temperature control or anything like that. So uh, I think that would be a really cool idea if if someone would, would release something like that because that would be really cool. Especially if you live in like Arizona where it's super, super dry and you want to store your, your poor at a, you know, a elevated um, humidity versus your natural landscape of humidity that you'd be there. Um, all right, so they say this thing is a 400 count, so I'm gonna start emptying my Coolador here. Uh, according to my spreadsheet of cigar inventory, I have 391 cigars on hand that uh, does not include my personal cigars that I've rolled myself, which I have about 50 of at least. So I have at least 400 cigars in my office right now, so I'm gonna start packing this up and see how much I can fit. All right, so I'm done loading this up. Uh, I managed to fit all my name brand cigars in here. So about 391 name brand cigars I put in here. Plus I put over 50 of my own personally rolled cigars. So currently we have over 450 cigars in here. So their estimated count is uh, pretty spot on. Uh, I got a mix of Churchill, probably about 150 of those. Robusto size, you know, about the five inch size I have. Uh, 250 of those, and then probably another 50 Toro size, you know, around six inches or so. So pretty good mix and managed to get 450 in here. If, you're, if you just have Robustos, you could probably fit 500 in here, no problem. And um, if, you, if you have just Churchill size, um, getting to the 400 might be difficult, but I think you might be able to arrange stuff in such a way that you'll be able to fit them. So... Uh, just going to see how I set this up is uh, I took the shelves out of my display humidor and just, you know, just put them in here. Um, they go all the way to the back and uh, leave about uh, three quarters of an inch uh, of shelf left. And then I put pretty much Robusto size cigars uh, stacked, uh, kind of going uh, perpendicular to the, to the unit. And um, that's what I did for the, this these shelves and this one down here. And then here I have a bunch of five packs just put in there and they're stacked three tall. Um, yeah, uh, the, for down below, you can easily fit a row of Churchill's and then a row of Robusto's stack three high, or you can probably do two rows of uh, all Toro's and um, those will fit just fine. And um, yeah, and then I have uh, another, a small box and a few other five packs down below on the bottom and leaving enough room for my uh, humidification. So all in all, it definitely fits uh, as, <laughs> as advertised and um, this is a pretty sweet humidor. Oh, also, I have a little bit of wobble right here. That's okay. Um, you can actually, the, the feet you can screw them so they get longer or shorter, so you can level out your uh, humidor. Just my floor right here is different than back in the corner where I pulled this out from. So uh, it's a little wobbly right now and I'll just have to adjust it when I put it back where it's going to live. So there you go. This has been a review of the New Air CC300H. Uh, if you are interested in this unit, you can go down into the description below and there is a link and a promo code to get 20% off this unit over at New Air. And that brings the price down to like $475 or so as of this recording. So 
totally worth the value, I think, for 475 bucks for a 450 count, for me at least, um, temperature controlled unit. So I think that's pretty sweet. So thanks for watching everybody. Be sure to like and subscribe, comment questions, feedback down below. There's also a Discord server available if you wanna come hang out and chat with us. That is down in the description. And I will see you next time on Tea and Tobacco. See you guys.